Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the garden. I'm going to do a little pruning on my Brazilian rain tree, or just a trim up really. I already started actually. And um, I figured anyway, I'll just look, look at some uh, new blooms that have opened and, uh, you know, get a little trim up here. The Dendrobium aphyllum, or Periardii, has started opening up here. Just lovely, and uh, the den nester that um, Eduardo gave me has opened up some of them, so that's kind of cool. I think that's Parisii crossed with um, uh, Anosmum. So anyway, um, and the green goblin is at it again with two spikes. So yeah, love that orchid. And I got some other other things that are cool happening. The um, Oncidium spatulatum has started opening up. Check that out. Seven spikes this year. That's pretty cool. If I can focus this darn camera. So, yeah, I'll show it again to you when they're fully open. But uh, one of my faves, my, one of my oldest, and I do believe we're getting uh, bloom nubbins on Dendrobium lodigesii, so that's really cool. And uh, Eduardo gave me another orchid. This is Dend Little Sweet Scent. So that's getting blooms. Yeah, that's cool. Um, alrighty, I'm going to go prune the tree and we'll do a before and after. Actually, before we jump into the tree, I figured I would share uh, one of my uh, adenium seedlings is blooming. This is just your regular, typical adenium obesum, but that's blooming. I'll step back so you can see it. Yeah, that's the second time it's blooming. It's absolutely getting covered with blooms, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's from seed. Alrighty guys, I'm going to give this guy a haircut and I'll be back. Okay, here is your before. I'll give it a spin for you guys. That's about a quarter turn. Give it another quarter turn. And we'll be back when it's all pruned up. Okay guys, I'm done and that's all the material that I took off the tree. Uh, a fair amount. So anyway, we'll, I'll step back and show you what the tree looks like now. There we go. Step over here. Eventually, like I say, I will get a pot for it. That's just in one of those hanging baskets, but it works, so, you know, it's okay for a training pot. It's pretty bad when you can buy a ceramic toilet um, cheaper than you can a, a ceramic bonsai pot. So, anyway, I will give this a spin for you. That's about a quarter turn. That is another quarter turn. It's getting there. I mean, it's getting there. I've only had this tree for, uh, what, going on three years, maybe? So, two and a half. My friends uh, James and Mark gave it to me. Especially Mark. He likes all kinds of thorny trees and acacia. So, uh, yeah. All right, um, that's going to do it. Thank you for joining me. And I've been working on this Paphia petalum too, the Paphia naldianum. Let me pause and I'll put it up on the table for you guys. Yeah, I've been staking the blooms up and all that. Hopefully it'll bloom before April 4th um, for the uh, GVOS, hashtag GVOS, that William Green is doing. So anyway, that's... Paphia petalum, 
Hainaldianum. Nice plant. So yeah, I've been staking those up. Those are really cool blooms. And um, all right, thank you guys for joining me. Love and peace, and you guys keep it growing. Have a most awesome day.